What's up, Calc gang? All right, so we got the statics problem here. So I have the image up. So we have this brass and steel key, or rectangle that has a little triangle that's made out of the brass. And it wants us to find basically the centroid of this. And we're given all of these things. We have the, the, um, the densities. Uh, and also, so I drew this in 2D, but it also goes back 0. Uh, or it goes 30, back, 30 millimeters back. And then in this question, our length of this segment is gonna be 150 millimeters. So make sure to count for that if your numbers are different. So let's get started. So uh, we have this, that set our, this um, table here, and this table is what we're gonna to use to solve this problem. So when we have a table like this, we're gonna to wanna to fill it in. And so part of it is setting up this table and part of it is filling in the table. So setting up the table, we wanna start with segment and volume. Uh, and then now we want to find x tilde and z tilde, which are our center of masses. We know that our uh, y center of mass, just by inspection, is going to be 15 millimeters back, so I only put x and z here. So now let's just fill in this table. So when we're going to fill in this table, we want to make segments that are going to be useful for us and are going to be easy. So one segment, for example, could be this brass triangle, and then our next segment could be the steel part. But the steel part has kind of two shapes incorporated, right? It has the square here and it has this triangle here. So what we want to do is break it up into segments. It's going to be easier. So let's label this segment one, this is segment two, and this is segment three. That's going to make things easier for us because then we can just have these three segments and we can have them all separate. So segment one, two, and three. So we need to find the volume of these segments now. So let's go ahead and find the volume. So for the first segment, right, we're, we're, uh, we have this triangle, we know that x it's 150 millimeters, y is 225 millimeters, and z, or I guess this is z, so it goes back 30 millimeters. So if we're finding the volume of this triangle, it's going to be one half because we're a triangle, 150, 225, and then 30. So if you do that math, you get 506,250. So then, now we have this triangle here, which is going to be the same volume as that triangle. So this one's also going to be 506,250. And then three is now a square. So the square is going to be the same as two of these triangles. So all I have to do is multiply this number by two and get that the square is 1012500. So those are the volumes in millimeters. So now let's find the center of masses of these. So we're trying to find the center of mass in the x direction of this. So uh, what I did in my problem is um, I made it so, so let's solve it this way. There's a couple ways you can solve it. So this is x, uh, x. So I made our starting point here. So this is our center of mass zero, and then this is two or 300 millimeters. So that's how I did it, but if you look at the diagram, it actually goes the other way. So we're gonna assume starting that this is zero, and then at the end, we're gonna subtract 300 from our answer just because it's supposed to be going that way. So I did a little I did a little bit wrong, but you can do it either way, just make sure you keep track of what the problem is asking for. So the center of mass of x, if we're taking this to be zero, we know the center of masses of a triangle is one is basically a third of the way from the top. So if this is the top, we're gonna go a third of the way of the triangle and the center of mass is gonna be there. So that means that we're going a third of 150 millimeters, which is 50. So this is 50. So then now, if we're looking at our bigger triangle, or if we're looking at our upright triangle, which is two here, we're gonna start at the heaviest point, which is the max, and we're gonna go back a third. So this is 50 millimeters, so that means if we're starting from here, we're gonna go 100 millimeters. So this one's gonna be at 100. All right, so this, this one's a square, so you know its center of mass is gonna be at the center here, so we're gonna take 150 and add it to half of 150, which is gonna be 225. Nice. So then we're gonna do the same thing with the y center of mass, or the z center of mass, I guess it would be in this case. So if this is the z axis, so the center of mass, like we said, is gonna be a third of the way down from the tip of the triangle. So if we're looking in this direction, we're gonna go a third of the way up. So if the height is 225, a third of 225 is gonna be 75, right? Nice. So then same for this upright triangle, we're starting at the max and we're going down a third, which is going to be, uh, so we're going upwards from there, so it'll be 150 this time. 
And then the center of mass of 3, of course, is just going to be halfway up, which is half of 225. So that's 12.5. So now we finally filled in our entire table, and it's time to do the math. So part A is we're asking for the mass. So we want to find the mass of the entire thing. So we're not actually given any masses, but we're given densities. So density is equal to mass over volume. So if we're solving for mass, we're going to multiply volume over. So mass is equal to density times volume. So we found the volumes of each one of the triangles and the cubes, and we know each one of their densities, so now it just comes down to using this equation to finding all three of them. So let's start with the brass one, starting with segment one. Mass of it, so mass one is brass, so we've got the density of brass, 8.74 megagrams per meter three, so we need to keep track of our units, because we're in millimeters, we're in meters, we're in megagrams, we need to make sure that we end up doing the right thing. So this is its density of uh, segment one, and then its volume of segment one is this. 506 to 50, and this is in millimeters cubed. So now you'll notice that we have millimeters cubed, or we have meters cubed, millimeters cubed, so we need to convert. So to get rid of this millimeters cubed, we're gonna, we know that one meter is 1,000 millimeters, right? So this one meter is 1,000 millimeters, but we need to cube it. So that'll be cubed, that will be cubed. So then the millimeters cubed and the millimeters cubed here are going to cancel, and you'll have basically you're dividing this number by a thousand cubed. So then you'll find mass of one is equal to 0 0.00442 megagrams. So not kilograms, megagrams. So that's uh, part one. So let me write this somewhere. 0.00442. Megagrams. So let's do the next one. So now we're doing mass of segment two. So segment two is steel, so we need to make sure to use the density of steel, which is 7.85 uh, megagrams per meter cubed. So then we know that the volume of this segment is again that number. So 506 to 50, this is in millimeters cubed. So we have to again divide by one over 1,000 cubed to get rid of that. And so you're gonna find that the mass of two, 0 0.00397 megagrams. So then finally we're gonna do it for three. So mass three is also steel. So we have this is its density and then its volume is one zero one two five zero zero millimeters cubed. Then we're gonna have to divide it by a thousand cubed again to cancel out our units. You do that, get mass of three, zero point uh, zero zero seven. Nine five megagrams. So now we found the masses of everything, and we want to convert this to the mass of everything. So if you, of course, if you want to just find the mass of the whole thing, we're going to just add up our masses. So if you add all of these up, you're going to get that mass is equal to 0 0.0163 megagrams, or 16.3 uh, kilograms. So there's your answer to part A, that took a while, but let's go ahead and do part B. So part B now is we're finding the centroid. So to find the centroid, well, we have everything we need here, so now we just need to, again, use some formulas. So what we said earlier is um, if you look at the 3D segment, go back to the beginning with the image or whatever, uh, the y-axis, it's just a rectangle on the y-axis. It looks like, you know, the thing looks like this. And then this is, right? So this is the y-axis. So we know that the center of mass, even if it has this triangle cut in it, it's just gonna be halfway of the depth. So we know right away that y-bar is gonna be equal to 
the depth of it times two, or divided by two. So it'll just be 15 millimeters. So now we need to find X bar and Z bar, and those are gonna be the harder ones, but let's go ahead and do it. So remember, make sure I'm doing it from the left side. I did it wrong, so you're just gonna subtract 300 from the answer, and that's uh, just because I took it from the side that they didn't want you to take it from. It's all good, you know? doesn't really matter as long as you keep track of what you're doing and then know where to do it at the end. So we're taking the center mass from this end. So x bar is equal to the sum of x tilde volume over the sum of the volumes. Okay, I use volume, or I use mass, so let's use mass. Yeah, because we're finding the center of mass, right? We're not finding the center of volume, we're finding the center of mass. So make sure you use mass here. Okay, so we're going to do this now, so let's just add them up. So x bar is equal to the sum of x tilde. So we found the x tilde, so let's start with one. So segment one is 50, and then its mass of one is 0 0.00442. And then, so the next one, segment two, its x tilde is 100, and its mass, 0 0.00397 plus, and then the next one's 225, 225, and its center mass, or its mass, 0 0.00795. And then, of course, we're going to add them up. So the sum of our masses is what we found here. So this is 0 0.0163. So you do the math on this, and you get x bar. I'm going to make sure I did my equation right. So yeah, I did it right. Nice job, me. It's 152, uh, or so it's not, it's not. I lied. So when you plug this in, you get 148 millimeters. So 148 millimeters from this side. So if we're counting from here over, it's going to be 148 millimeters. But the way the problem wants it is from here to here. So you're going to have to subtract 300 from this answer. So x bar is actually equal to 152 millimeters. Not that one. So yeah, just make sure if you do it backwards, you don't have to start over. You can simply just say, okay, I know what I'm doing, and I'm gonna try it the other way, just subtract. Okay, so then all we have left is z bar, so z bar is equal to the sum of z tilde times mass over the sum of the masses. So doing this, right? So first one for segment one is 75, and then segment one's mass, 0 0.00442, plus the second one's mass, or z bar is 150, its mass, 0.00397. And then the last one is 112.5. Its mass, 0.00795. Over the sum of the masses, which is 0 0.063, 163, right? And then if you plug this in, you get Z bar is equal to uh, 112, right? I hope so. 1112. So there we go. Oh, also, this is negative. Totally oh, forgot about that. Right, because just if you look at the axis, it goes into the negative y direction. So you gotta make sure to have your negatives and positives correct in this case. So here we go, that's the answers to the problem. So it was a big problem, right? A lot of uh, steps you have to take. But really, it's not a lot of hard work, it's just a lot of work. So make sure you know your process, and that's the most important part here. So yeah. If you have any trouble, feel free to check out the rest of my videos, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.